All right, boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Rods, and I'm back from the dead for another video. So, new Madden, new season. I've been lurking in the shadows, trying to see what this year is all about. I'm gonna tell you, man, so far, I gotta say I like what I'm seeing. It's not perfect, but it's been very entertaining. There's a lot to do. It's borderline overwhelming even. But I figure let's get our first month episode of the year off to a bang. If you're hyped, just like I am, that there's a new Madden and I'm finally releasing videos again, drop a like on this video right here. So I did the introductory solos so as you guys can see, I got like this welfare Julio Jones, as well as like Gronk, Marshawn, even Ladanian. I actually upgraded these players the most. But speaking of there being a lot to do, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys wanna see because personally, my take on this new year is I want to experience all that Madden has to offer, not just mud content, but offline content as well. And keep an eye out for the videos because I'm going to be assembling my Mutt Squad team, you know what I'm saying. So we got to pick two of the people to play with. But anyway, I figured we'd get off to a bang. Let's open up some packs because the squad is looking kind of weak. 63 overall, even though I wanted to play a couple games. Sub 70 because I do want to do Mutt Master this year. It's objective based. But let's jump right into some packs. Now, one of the things I gotta say, man, is I love how they set everything up so far. Like, like I said, plenty to do. I love the interface and every aspect of it. But let's go into this gold premium mega bundle. And it basically says it contains 33 gold premium packs and three elite player packs containing guaranteed elites and more. And the cool thing is. Every one of these packs, I think, is going to have players regardless of the pack that you get. So we have so many opportunities to get the good players. We're not going to start off with the elite player packs yet. We're going to jump straight into some gold premium packs, baby. Let's go. Alright, so the first pack, the... Ooh. Yo, I like, I, I like that little like silver animation that you get on that one. So one pack in, guys. No elites, man. I've been watching all these videos where everybody's getting like elite after elite after elite. I guess maybe for me, that luck ain't going to be like that. And tell me something, guys. Why is it that the silver animation for the players is like low-key more lit than like the gold one? I've yet to play Mud Squads at all. All I've done so far is just pretty much go in. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, bro. Colin Kaepernick. Yo, I also, speaking of Colin Kaepernick, I've heard that like scrambling quarterbacks this year are kind of OP. I've seen that scrambling is pretty effective. Just overall, all the offensive moves to me look pretty OP and so much fun. So as far as career mode, I did this a couple years back. I've got to do a running back career mode. So a few packs in, I don't have a single elite yet. And as far as like, I have all right goal players, but not even anything that I gotta be too excited about. Now I've seen people pulling legends. I wonder if you can like just pull legends outright throughout the year. I'm hoping that that's the case. Cause that would be pretty big. And there's our first elite of the year, Bruce McCain, but bro, like 80 overall is not something to really get excited about. So I mean, that's not really like a walk off right there. I really wish though that the Madden team would have done the walkouts kind of like FIFA. I mean, that was pretty awesome. And another elite, Shane Ray. I remember when Shane Ray first got drafted. I used to make so much fun of him because of all like the weed stuff that he came out with. 
But that's not bad. That's not bad. Looks like both of my elites are going to be on the defensive side. And overall, I love the fact that the squad is looking pretty balanced so far. Defense looks like it's going to be one of the suspect things, but some of the loopy blitzes that I've been using last year look like they transferred over pretty nice. So nothing too crazy, but at least something we can work with. Definitely getting a really good, like, elusive bat is going to be super OP. And as far as hit sticks, I know a lot of people kind of don't like the way that the new hit stick system is working. But if you got somebody that pretty much lays the wood, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to cause a lot of fumbles. Weldon Smith. Another, yo, Robert Quinn, 82 overall. That's the highest overall we had so far. I'm telling you right now, though, this is going to be a pretty good defense that we're having. Some people were complaining about the speed, but if you notice, like, everybody's actually slow right now, which I have no problem with. I'm also not mad at all at the legends that we got this year. I think we got some pretty good start-off legends, and the fact that they give you access to pretty good players just from playing solos is pretty good. I also really like the way they did Mutt Master. I think there's going to be a lot of people that get Mutt Master by accident this year. Because everything pretty much that like is on Mutt Master can just be achieved just by playing the game. And that's the cool thing. Like I don't feel like you really have to go out of your way to get most of the things out of there. Now some of these team leader sets, I'm pretty sure Ross Cockrell? <laughs> yo, but another defensive elite, man. Some of these, yo, some of these uh, elites are a little fraudulent. Because I'm not even sure why they actually gave that person a lead. Uh, some of these look like uh, some welfare elites, to be honest with you. I feel like I still don't... Ooh, Dantari Poe! Every elite that I've pulled has been on defense. But I'll take this 85 overall elite. 90 strength, that's what I'm talking about. The thing is, I'm going to see what kind of back-to-back -back elites. Gabe Jackson, that's my first offensive one, yo, but we got the offensive line working. Two elites in that pack. I can't even be mad at that. I'm telling you right now, man, if you can pull Legends the entire year out of packs, that's going to be pretty awesome. I hope it's the same way for like team of the week. Like if they can just have like theme packs always give you the opportunity to pick like to, to pull certain people and it's not just limited, I think that'll be cool too. However, I'm curious to see like on launch day what the fact like what this is gonna do to prices. To be honest with you, I kind of don't want to sell Mike Mitchell, okay, another free safety. I kind of don't want to sell anything until launch. But let me know what you guys are seeing. Like, I'm actually, I'm recording this video on day two of it actually being out because it was released yesterday, but I'm dropping it three days after, like, this has been out. So let me know what you guys have been doing. Like, last year I was so quick to sell everything, I should look at that Josh Brown because I think that Josh Brown, uh oh, uh oh, slow cravings. I still, I still don't really like the fact that they gave him that number because I think both 21 and 36 should have been reserved for Sean Taylor. I mean, but I'll go for that. It is what it is. But that Josh Brown, I wanted to see the speed on that one. We'll look at that one later. Because I think real, really speedy players this year are going to be like the move. Like really speedy, agile, uh, finesse backs is what I have my mind on. Alejandro Villanueva. Left tackle. Looks like most of my offensive elites are going to be on my offensive line. And I am not mad at that. Another lead, Anthony Sherman. <laughs> so... So offensively, we got a couple of offensive linemen and a fullback. Jesus Christ. I think I think he's looking better than like my running backs right now. Because I got the 74 overall of Damian Thomason. And I love the fact that you can upgrade these players. 
you know, for everybody that was complaining that the GOAT cards are only going to be 85 overall, if you see, like, the caliber of players that we're pulling in all these, like, the higher, like, overall players, that's not really going to be too bad of a thing there. You know, I don't see myself really getting tired of man this year, especially if, if, if they stay on a lot of these new modes, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm curious to see... Like what they do with mud squads, and it'll be cool if they can do like mud squads on a competitive level. That's one of the things that I've kind of trying to like look up as much as I can is to see what they're going to be doing as far as from the competitive scene. Is it going to be salary cap? You know, is it just going to be like, is it just going to be mud squads, or are they going to add some of these other modes? And not to say that I'm going to go competitive, but I think that's one of the main reasons why it's so important this year to just stay well-rounded on the channel, not just from a content standpoint, but to keep it fun. Now, because I haven't paid, played too many games and I've actually played zero competitive online games, I wanna see like, which one of these guys out here are gonna be like budget beasts? Like which one of these gold players are gonna be like the super glitchy ones? Now, what I'm, I'm I just, I really like the way that the game feels. You know, a lot of people are saying that the game felt slow, but the reason why it feels slow is because when you start off, you have like 50 and 60 overall players. And I don't know if you guys looked at their speeds or not, but they are super slow. The cool thing is, though, when I've gotten some of these other players, like, for example, like, let's say, like, the LaDainian Tomlinson and some of those like that, like, you could feel the difference in a player that's, like, a lot better than the other ones. I'm not gonna lie, one of the main observations though is the fact that elites are so low, and this is gonna be our last gold premium pack. The fact that elites are so low takes away like the excitement of like pulling an elite like we had last year. You know, last year when you were pulling an elite, you got really excited because you're like, yo, this is like a card that's gonna sell for some serious coin. I don't really see like elites selling for that much this year. I think most of your goal is gonna be like on maybe higher level elites and then like legends. But anyway, Elite Player Pack, let's see what we have in here. Hopefully we get something better than what we had in there. I need some playmakers, I need some different, uh, you know, some difference makers on my squad. Yo, that's pretty lit. I like the fact that the Elite Player Packs actually have other gold and elites in them. Roosevelt Knicks, another fullback, you gotta be kidding me. There better be something in this next Elite Player Pack that's actually worth a damn. The cool thing about all these like silver players though is that I know I can trade them in for another offensive lineman. I know I can trade them in for like team tokens. All right, last elite player pack, man. What are we gonna get in here? Please let us get something good. 81 Anthony Munoz card. I, I think that goes into his set, right? I'll take that. Maybe that'll sell for something. I'm gonna hold that until the beginning of, I think a Tuesday, whenever everything drops to see pretty much how much that goes for. So after everything, to show you how garbage my team was right now, that Anthony Munoz 81 overall card is actually one of my starting offensive linemen right here. Now, pl plenty of stuff right there for our team. We got it up to a 79 overall just with everything that we got there. Our defense is pretty solid, man, pretty solid. I got a whole bunch of playmakers all over the field. I love how my secondary looks. I got elites out in the secondary, so the secondary is beefed up. But offense, man, it's a little lacking, to be honest with you. I do like the fact that I have pretty much some speed all around. I'm definitely stacked at fullback. But we'll have to hit the auction block to see what we can get out for some of these, to be honest with you. Now, it looks like there's some opportunity for me to sell a couple things here because Alejandro Villanueva over here is actually not even starting because of that Anthony Munoz. And that's not even the full Anthony Munoz there. But anyway, guys, drop a like if you're hyped that we're back. If you want to see more pack openings, let me know in the comment section below. And we'll probably drop some gameplay maybe tomorrow. Anyway, it's been your boy Tech Raj, guys, and peace.